अभी तो अपन स्मॉल से लार्ज हुआ है अभी पॉडकास्ट होना बाकी है कैन यू गेस द गेस द वर्ड आई रिप्लेस पॉडकास्ट विथ अभी तो अपन स्मॉल से लार्ज हुआ है अभी डैश होना बाकी है दिस इज रणबीर कपूर लाइन फ्रॉम दिस या यस बॉस होना बाकी है no. नहीं इट्स इट्स अ वर्ड दैट स्टार्ट्स विद पी पी यस अभी पटियाला पैक होना बाकी है यस यू आर राइट वेलकम टू हैज इट एज वेल माय नेम इज अब्बास विद मी इज माय कोहोस्ट उर्जिता उर्जिता से हाय 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 and the voice you heard before uh, urjita was our guest for today's episode uh, film critic youtuber overall ray of sunshine oh, sucharita tyagi oh, thank you <laughs> super and, funny uh, <laughs> aapko is quote se shayad film ka pata nahi laga hoga because it's not the most popular quote uh, but today we're covering bombay velvet it's uh, also not the most popular film <laughs> oh well we'll we'll get to that it's popular for maybe the wrong reasons i think yeah. like our ex prime minister history will be kinder <laughs> yeah to bombay velvet <laughs> uh we'll we'll find out why that is and uh, so charita before we begin this is uh officially the uh, quote unquote latest film we are covering on this uh, podcast so to matlab tum bahut hi purani purani film hai so we've ho. covered stuff from uh, my childhood when i was in, in, in um, 90s late 90s our childhood is the same abas not not 34 years old urjit always starts those conversations with uh, are you gen z kind i'm 1998 so kind of no you're very much a millennial uh, very much yeah <laughs> yeah gen z's are like what 2000 2000 ke baad yeah beyond. please <laughs> jada young banne ki koshish mat kar <laughs> no he keeps saying ki our oh sorry so sorry my childhood you were not did not even exist back then jab main baat karta hu maine dil chahta hai dekh ke kya cool bande lage the then she was like i was 3 years old i would so theek hai she is only 10 years younger than us yeah it's not no, that not. much of a difference <laughs> i know she looks like she is much younger than uh, 24 yes. 24 yes 24 Excellent. And I look much older, so we balance it out. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So this came out in 2015. She has aged well. <laughs> <laughs> I am just aging. Uh, Bombay Velvet came out in 2015, and uh, I have opinions about this film, and we'll find out what uh, Urjita and Sucharita think of the film on the other side of this break. We'll be right back. I have a very funny story. Can I say it? Hi, I'm Shweta. I'm Navya's mother. Hi, I'm Shweta. I'm Navya's mother. <laughs> I am Navya's nani. My name is Jaya Bachcha. Hmm. I got nothing over here, guys. <laughs> It's a big day for me. Okay, start. What the hell? I was saying something very nice and empowering, and you just interrupted me. Don't complain. Don't explain. Never explain. <laughs> Let me say it. I have my little secrets. Hello madam, how are you? I got your number. I told you don't get me started. Mom. When you want to do money pinching, you're also very good. I've seen you. I've noticed. <laughs> I finished these many books. You're still on your first book. I finished so many books. You're I'm like what the hell? Leave me alone. <laughs> Definition of love has changed today. I'm too old for all this. Navya, there's a wonderful lake. Go and jump into and it. And drown and drown. And she does. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> What the hell? It's important to have friends. My best friends have been Navya and Shweta. Oh, I have a problem saying no. You better learn. It's the it's, it's the, the best, best word. word. Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> okay. What the hell? What the hell, Navya? You're seeing this podcast is called What the Hell Navya. I have at least three What the Hell Navya episodes in a day. And we're back on Hazard Age Well with me, Isu Charita Tyagi and Urjit Awani. Uh, Bombay Velvet. Yes. A uh, very big budget film. When it came out, it was a huge deal. Yeah. uh things did not quite go down as expected for the cast and crew and the director of the film yeah. uh i have my reservations about it but i would like to know from you guys what you think of the film so charita when we reached out to you about being on the show and asked what film you would like to cover you picked bombay velvet would yeah. you like to tell us why uh because i was uh 
the beginning not the beginning of the, this year about like may or something it started to become ranbir kapoor season again right. this year right we have we had shamshera ke promotions had uh. shamshera shamshera <laughs> ke promotions had suddenly begun then he's gotten married now uh, you know they're pregnant mm. and now bad uh, badshah yaar kya brahmastra ke promotions have become uh, begun uh, <laughs> so ranbir ka bachcha bhi ho gaya so like mm. after 4 years of not having ranbir in our lives and he's one of my favorite actors right mm. uh, of not having him around suddenly he was everywhere so i was like maybe i want to do a ranbir kapoor retrospective mm. uh, on my channel mm. so i watched barfi and i watched bombay velvet barfi has aged terribly in my oh, opinion really? it's it had has aged so poorly especially in its depiction of somebody on the autism spectrum mm. uh, it's it's just not very well done and all the uh, scenes and moments lifted from other um, you know charlie chaplin yeah, yeah. films are not acknowledged didn't sit well with me this time around the music of that film is evergreen it's beautiful mm, mm. bombay velvet on my rewatch i was like we were i, I was in a professional film critic back then but like uh, the world was a little too harsh on the on the film i don't know if it was film critics per se who were harsh on the film mm-hmm. but like the general audience and their acceptance of it right because it's a really good film i really really enjoyed it there are some like it's not perfect no film is perfect um but the intentionality behind making the film the audacity to mm. expand the staging area mm-hmm. the way it has been mm-hmm. the writing the music album the attention to detail with the set design costume there are many many videos of behind the scenes productions of the film on youtube it's all really it screams cinema enthusiast lover of cinema lover of making movies and making movies because you want to uh because you know it's a part of our culture it's a part of our right. dna as indians um i fully enjoyed it watching on a sunday i spent one full afternoon watching it and mm-hmm. then watching other things around it and interviews right. and reading things yeah. fully enjoyed and did you watch it when it came out in the cinemas yes okay yes i don't remember loving it uh-huh. back then uh-huh. i don't know what it was what year was it 2015 What else was releasing in 2015? What was the biggest film of 2015? Uh let's find out. I'm going to do a quick Google search. <laughs> 2015 Hindi movie releases enter Tamasha Masan Bajrangi Bhaijaan Bomkesh Bakshi a... Dil Dhadakne Do Dam Laga Ke Haisha Phantom These are all like Masan also came out in 2015. Roy also. Yeah. Mm, Roy to sank without a trace. Yeah. I don't know anyone who's watched that film. So I mean uh, does this film stand out from the ones from these ones in your in your memory Masan obviously dam laga ke haisha is good year for hindi cinema Peek yeah. also kamal hai dil dhadakne do dam laga ke masan phantom also which i didn't think was a bad film frankly there was baby came out that year uh bajira mastani what peek tanu wed's manu also came out that year Wow, Bombay Velvet. <laughs> oh, Bahubali also. So this oh, yeah, was a big been, yeah. year yeah, yeah. for cinema. Yeah. Mm. Big, big year for cinema. Welcome का sequel इसी साल आया. तो इसमें पता नहीं कहाँ NH10 Anushka Sharma stepped in as a producer for the first time for the first time. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know why people did not take to Bombay Velvet when it released. What do you guys okay. think? I have my opinions, but Urjita, you saw the film for the first time yes, for this today. podcast. Yes, uh, yesterday. Yesterday, so. sorry, day before yesterday, <laughs> okay. I saw. Hmm. Uh, um, tabhi bhi, I remember uh, uh, I was in college at that time, and everybody around me. So, tabhi bhi na na wo face chal raha tha, uh-huh. jabhi na jo koi jo kuch bhi bolega na, main influence ho jaungi. Okay. So, like everybody around me uh, were movie nerds, uh, hmm. especially boys. They were like, "Go in India and do Scorsese! Wow, <laughs> wow! India, India mein nahi hai koi movie. India, Scorsese is amazing." So, stop, everybody stop was like, "Stop impersonating me, Urjita, please." <laughs> <laughs> you guys were in college together or what no, 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 no. don't forget you are I'm, 10 I'm years 10 old years <laughs> old yeah itna bhi fail nahi hua main so everybody was like singing praises about scorsese nobody was saying ki yaar suraj bar jata hai jo dikhta na dikhta na kiya hai right. so i gr- have grown up in that atmosphere yeah. and i main mera aisa ho raha tha ki yaar ye sab log itni itni tareef kare mere ko to godfather bhi pasand nahi aayi <laughs> so uh, anurag kashyap was uh, the only movie indian movie director that all of these indian uh, cinephiles ka scorsese scorsese kashyap ye bas usne 
एक फोटो डाली पैर छूते हुए स्कॉर्सी सी के साथ उसके बाद तो भाई आप ही हमारे दाता सो ही वॉज द ओनली वन इंडियन इंडियन मूवी डायरेक्टर जो सब जिसको सब हेल करते थे सो एंड उसकी गैंग्स ऑफ वसीपुर मुझे पसंद आई थी सो देन आई वॉज देख ओके ओके मे बी थ्रू सम कनेक्शन आई एम ऑल्सो फिल्म लर्ड मे बी आई ऑल्सो लाइक स्कॉर्सी सी बट आई डोंट नो इट ये मेरा वैसा था सो आई वॉज लाइक इन माई हेड आई वॉज थिंकिंग आई एम अ कश्यप फैन और मैंने एक ही मूवी देखी है उसकी बाकी कुछ नहीं देखा दोनों मूवी आया है दोनों तो एक ही आई वॉज ए कश्यप फैन तो एवरीबडी अराउंड मी स्टार्टेड क्राइंग की फक यार बॉम्बे वेलवेट ये डोट आई किड यू नॉट द बॉयज इन माई कॉलेज दे वर राइटिंग लॉन्ग एस एज ऑन हाउ बॉम्बे वेलवेट डिसअपॉइंटेड दैम एंड दे वर राइटिंग इट एज एज नो मेन पीस यू नो एज द एज द क्रेडिट्स रोल्ड I sat there <laughs> wondering why why did he do this was there a hidden message i why was not able to heart? understand yeah, yeah. is kashyap gone ha huh? the kashyap the fever <laughs> gone so i was like shayad nahi hogi achhi to maine dekhi nahi but imagine the passion yeah. that he and his films generated in a younger audience to interact with cinema in such an involved fashion ki sir film dekh kar kyunki this is also pre twitter pre instagram yeah. Yeah. popular days yes. so it's not like tumne ek instagram pe story dal di aur tumhara opinion khatm ho gaya these are people this these are the vlogging days yeah. Yeah. not vlogging blogging blogging days, days. Yeah. Yeah. wordpress and yes. all of that people were writing facebook pe blogs likh rahe the mm. log lambe lambe bahut popular tha us time pe yeah. uh, so if he inspired like a generation to come out and interact act with cinema mm. that's a win isn't it like that's obviously amazing. he took it hard from what uh, you know you know he was he didn't make another big film for a long time i think the film after that it was uh, raman raga which was a much yeah, much smaller yeah. film mm. which as he puts it was after the debacle of bombay velvet when i made things look so pretty and people de- uh, denied it yeah, i went, wanted to make something as ugly as raman raga wo bhi movie bana diye wo naam pe yeah i think ab aaj agar release hoti na bombay velvet it would have done better in my opinion yeah yeah And why do you think so? Uh I think that because our uh, interaction with um like we've also understood i think kashyap as a storyteller better okay. over the years we've also watched a lot more international films yeah. now our Bombay exposure Velvet has also increased just at the tip of the streaming uh, revolution our exposure yeah. has yeah. increased we've seen these kinds of films uh, uh, you know that's why a film like monica oh my darling does mm. well today because yes. we now know what noir is right. and uh, how what good noir looks like right. perhaps right. Right. Yeah. i'm talking in my bubble no one outside this room gives a crap uh but, but i think i, I, I wanted to come to that point but uh, before yeah. that just yeah. a small surprise the bet uh, bombay velvet ka ek uh, uh, monica darling make is tarah ke bombay velvet ka and raka shib ki awaaz hai oh oh this i this too What? Yeah. What is your Easter egg? So you mine tell Bombay Velvet. <laughs> mine was I was watching Bombay Velvet and I and I saw that there, there's this one scene where Karan Johar is uh, describing that body में छेद करने पड़ेंगे वरना वो डूबेगी नहीं and वो ही same Rajkumar Rao ने भी बोला है. Secondly, uh, not Bombay Velvet. This is a Kashyap homage when <coughs> someone calls Rajkumar Rao says TV चलाओ his sister calls him TV चलाओ TV में देखो and then he finds out that जो दूसरा accounts का manager था उसको सांप ने काट लिया मर गया. So when he turns on the TV on the channel is playing some thing you can only hear the voice you hmm. can't see what's playing the voice is of anurag kashyap at the launch of satya music launch or one of those ram gopal oh. verma music launches which kashyap had written to film hmm. and he's on the stage talking about audience's interaction you hear it for like a split second and then he changes the channel and then it goes oh. to the news oh this nice. i didn't know i knew about the gulshan devaya voice yeah, uh, on the phone on the right f- oh yeah on the phone on the phone nahi pata wo nagesh jo tha uska voice over kiya yeah, tha yeah, that yeah, i yeah, knew yeah 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 so kashyap yeah. is on tv and um, the voice of uh, anurag kashyap oh wow yeah. Okay, can I give my take of the film? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you were so dying. I, you were so just I giving was, you not if we tell you don't. <laughs> no, I'll still do that. Um, so I am. I was that fanboy who was disappointed by oh, uh, no. by uh, this film. I also did not watch it in the theater. Uh, I was and still remain a huge Anurag Kashyap fan. But Bombay Velvet is the only film that I almost and I I know it's a strong word, but I almost detest from him because. I just do not find um uh, the major reason I don't think this 
film connects with me is I feel it's a little inauthentic. Uh-huh. Uh, this is coming from the guy who made Black Friday, which is one of the iconic Bombay films. Mm. Uh, coming from ga- guy who made Gangs of Asipur, which has this huge canvas of uh, multi generational revenge saga. All right. So we know he can pull off both these things, right? But I think when it comes to Bombay Velvet, it's just too many things happening in one film. I think the three leads are miscast: Ranbir, Anushka, and Karan Johar. Who should have I, been cast in there? Um, I don't really have an answer to that. I mean, especially Ranbir and Karan Johar. I think, I think that it's it's a little like I don't buy their rivalry, hmm, and yeah. I don't I don't see the chemistry between Ranbir and Anushka's. Uh, uh romance or the passion that they have hmm. and i think at the end of the day it's kashyap wanting to make a film about a bombay he wishes existed rather than the one it did exist of course none of us were alive back then so mm-hmm. i'm like not giving this uh you know comparison from what i saw and I I don't know I mean there is there's this politics in this film there's bureaucracy there is smuggling there are gangsters there is the, it's it's also about the bombay jazz scene it's everything I love in in genre cinema and yet I just don't I feel bored I felt bored while watching so this So tell film. why na uh kya man wo masala nahi aa raha film mein like I said like gangs of wasipur has this mi- multiple mic drop moments yeah uh इसमें एक दो ही है। It also maybe has to be do with the fact that in our head, in my head at least, Kashyap is. I mean, I expect him to push the boundary. So it's not as violent as Gangs of Asipur. It's not as the stakes are not as high as they were in a, in a Black Friday or a Gangs of Asipur or even in a, in in a no smoking or ugly or those films where I feel the tension in the in the on the screen. I did, I never felt the tension in Bombay Velvet, even though it has multiple. instances in the story where i should be feeling that mm. and it just didn't click for me i think and, also huh, yeah. yeah sorry no and and so i saw it the second time uh, last night i watched it last year uh, during the lockdown and in both the times there's one specific point in the story where i completely gave up which is when the when uh, balraj tries to fake uh, anushka's death and the twin sister yeah. quote and quote mm. shows up yeah. which is where i tune out and i'm like now you're pushing the envelope not pushing the envelope in the good way but ab thoda zyada ho raha hai like now i'm it's going away from the realm of believability but mm. that's the thing he wants to uh, make it so outlandish that particular subplot mm-hmm. because those were the kind of films that people were watching back then when these kind of outlandish things would happen in films mm. so balraj in his limited understanding of how to actually pull off a heist of this level mm-hmm. and uh, with the um, anushka sharma's character they try to do this thing which they've probably seen in a film and they're inspired from some मूवी की अच्छा बिस्किट ना जुड़वा बहन आ जाएगी एंड द एवरीवन सीज थ्रू इट राइट अवे No one right. buys it, mm. Mm. right? No one's buying it. Everyone's seeing through it. People are a little scared of calling it out because mm. Balraj is very powerful at this point. Mm. But everyone is like, like please, <laughs> right. come on. And also, I, so filmy. I think because uh, uh, another reason why you might, you and many others might not have enjoyed it because Gangs of Wasipur me there was there was hidden messaging. एंड लाइक ओपिनियंस भी दे रहा था कश्यप लाइक सिनेमा जब तक इस देश में तब तक चुटिया बनता रहेगा देर वॉज नो रीजन फॉर दैट डायलॉग टू बी देर बट स्टिल पीपल कुड कनेक्ट विद इट वैसा बॉम्बे वेलवेट में एक ही डायलॉग है कि मुंबई के बाहर पता क्या है इंडिया और इंडिया में भुखमरी है वैसे और ओपिनियंस आई डोंट नो इफ ओपिनियन इज द राइट वर्ड फॉर इट बट वैसे और सब टेक्स नहीं था बॉम्बे वेलवेट में मे बी दैट्स यू डेंट एन्जॉय इट बिकॉज इट डेंट गिव यू मोर देन द प्लॉट Hmm. Maybe also uh, Varun Gurwas character as the stand-up comedian coming, uh, you know, at regular intervals. It's a little fourth wall breaking. Yeah, trying hmm. to make and and I, I think Sucharita, you put out a tweet saying why is stand-up in movies and TV shows so unfunny? Yeah, right? yeah. And uh, even though Varun Gurwas is probably one of our finest stand-up comedians in in the movie, again he's playing this very over-the-top kind of a you know a, a humorous character who's trying to make a statement. but it's 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 not connecting it's not coming through so i don't know i i the first time i watched it i watched it with the lens that it's a, i watched i was on the side of the movie that it's a, it's a film from my favorite one of my favorite directors it didn't do well i want to like it and i didn't last night again i was like it deserves a relook i think it it looks gorgeous like there's no point where i was like hey, at one point i remember i had to take a call so i paused the screen and that the the frame, frame where it paused it could have been a painting right oh. so taking nothing away mm. from the production design and the and the way the film is shot and all of that everybody is looking gorgeous mm. but i just did not connect with it and and i can't r- put my finger why that is mm. 
that's that's interesting yeah because um it's a, such an audacious attempt at telling such a vast story in right. a limited time it's a long film it's not a short film but i think it's one of ranbir kapoor's finest performances he's done such a good job anushka sharma is incredible in in my opinion everyone else i thought even karan johar was really really good and that part on a, on my rewatch i remember feeling back in the day cuz you know we didn't know karan johar well enough Correct, yeah. we knew a an idea of karan yeah, johar yeah, and yeah, then yeah. to cast him in this part was a little bit like of too much of an inside joke mm. for anyone to be invested in yeah. but now that we know karan johar a little bit better we know you know his, his story a little bit better i think he's written a book hasn't he yeah, i haven't yeah, read it yeah, yeah. Unsuitable, unsuitable boy unsuitable boy yeah. Yeah. but um uh, <laughs> uh, 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 it's good apparently also, good also i'm sure it is i just realized that uh, remember kangna ranaut ne karan johar ke bare mein kya bola tha uske show yeah, pe yeah. ki uh, in my boy biopic he will play the snooty mafia who is in control <laughs> he played that role as kambara <laughs> <laughs> so right. back in the day it was too much of an inside joke for people to take seriously i think it took people out of the experience of watching the film hmm. but on my rewatch i was like this is such inspired cast and he's done such a great job especially one scene where balraj goes to his house and sits down in his living room and talks about buying a building mm. or like something outlandish like that and um tender uh, yeah. and kambata mm-hmm. stands up and he says ek second and then Can he goes he? out and he laughs <laughs> to himself and he can't stop laughing that's really good acting man because yeah. laughing like really? that is not easy it's very good acting i cringe at that point I it's don't know why. It's very good acting. It's okay. very good acting. It's very good writing that he goes out and he laughs and the only time yeah. that when Kamata can actually um be this kind of frivolous not put together guy is when nobody's watching. Hmm. And then as soon as he goes back in where everyone's watching him again, he has to put on that facade of hmm. being like this mafioso, almost hmm. mafioso kind of politically connected guy. Hmm. Also, you know, coming back to your previous point where you said that the film is doesn't have many dialogue that I'm making a point like that, go back and revisit the lyrics again. Lyrics. Yeah. lyrics yeah. are yeah, the music everything. and lyrics. Mm. Um, the lyrics, Amitabh Bhattacharya's lines. They mm. are the movie set in a prohibition era, mm. and uh, he has a singer singing in, in this um, fancy place. Um, uh, I have the line: "Rooti mehbooba, rooti sharab hai. Uh, Aam Hindustani teri kismat kharaab hai." Haan. So, like, it's such. It's. I mean, it's really poignant. Yeah, These lines yeah, are great. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nidhi Mohan singing, Amit Trivedi's music. Ravina like, turned it on screen. Oh, Ravina turned it on screen. Oh yeah, screen. she was amazing. Yeah. I did. I that was a surprise. I didn't know that Ravina bhi hai usme. Mm-hmm. But uh, I ha. This is a question that I wanted to ask you guys. Hmm. What is the obsession, uh, like especially of uh, no noir film directors with mm-hmm. showing sexually exploited female characters? It's hmm. like if there is a female character, उसका sad backstory दिखाना है, उसका sexual exploitation नहीं होता है. Hmm. Like either like she is like a, a prostitute or she is having sex for money. She is either having sex without her consent or she gets sexually assaulted. Why do you have to focus on that? I think that is just a little bit like uh, I don't yeah. know why. Like उसका और कोई story नहीं हो सकता क्या? उसका बाप का कर्जा, माँ की dowry. हाँ नहीं हो सकता. ये सब हो सकता. One hundred percent हो सकता. I mean I don't know if I want to. Uh, generalize that all noir films have uh, sexually assaulted uh, you know characters in them but yeah no sure that's a valid criticism of the film like why did anushka sharma need that back story hmm. that we see with the little girl growing up and singing in the church and then like kind of be groomed hmm. by this guy and things like that but leslie no not leslie remo fernandes plays that part yeah, right? yeah, remo fernandes I, i think he does it wonderfully he's speaking portuguese and yeah. uh, Uh, good very casting. well cast. Again, good yeah, casting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. No, I think uh, to answer your question, so from what I've read, uh, Kashyap was inspired, or the the seeds of the idea for this film to him came from reading this uh, trilogy of uh, uh, Los Angeles noir noir novels, which were written by the guy who wrote uh, L.A. Confidential. Mm. Uh, so he, the, the 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 writer of those novels, I forget the name. but his mother died when he was 10 years old and his mother died i think in in some violent circumstances and she had an abusive relationship mm-hmm. so he would always write his female characters in in that way mm. okay. and again because the noir genre uh, the the origins of it are from the 40s and 50s mm. where mostly male writers were writing yeah. uh, you know these these, these very uh, you know handsome male characters who would fall for these women who are mm. you know very voluptuous and very uh, who would seduce them hmm. so f- i think in from their their in their mind only the, the women who would do these were prostitutes and women who were 
uh, you know philandering here and there cool at this point we'll take a short break and uh, when we come back i have a question whether bombay velvet would make a better mini series than uh, a movie we'll find out on the other side of this break hi hello everyone it's been another great week on the ivm podcast network On Cock and Bull, Cyrus is joined by Naveen and Meghna. They discuss Mamta Banerjee criticizing the use of a lotus on the G20 logo and the MCD Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh elections. On Simplified, the hosts introduce a new format called Half Pints. They touch upon various topics like the World Cup, sparkling water, and mosquitoes. On Has It Aged Well? Abbas that's me and Urjita are joined by film critic Sucharita Tyagi to break down Anurag Kashyap's polarizing film Bombay Velvet. Find the episode on the IVM Pop channel. On all things policy, Carl Jason and Shri Krishna Upadhyay discuss the history of the equal pay movement and recent developments regarding them in Indian sports. And on page 10, Jalasmi Meghnad Nivedita and I discuss Ravish Kumar's exit from NDTV, protests in China over COVID policy and more. Once again, don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcasts.com. We have some exciting stuff for you. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you like our shows, spread the word. Tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. You'll also find all our shows on youtube.com. Slash IBM Podcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week: Kotak Premier League Program and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. And we're back on Hazard Age. Well, uh, with us is Sucharitya Tyagi, and Hello. we're discussing Bombay Velvet. That's right. Uh, so I made a little while while watching the movie. I jotted down what the film, all the subject matter I could uh, get. So the film is about Bombay history, bureaucracy, mill workers. Mill worker rights, jazz scene, gangsters, smuggling, romance, uh, singing, uh, press—so uh, many things in one film. Would it have made for a better six-episode mini-series like a Sacred Games or whatever? One hundred percent. Yeah. I don't know if it be, would be better, but it mm. would be very good also mm. as a six to eight episode series where one episode is about the real estate boom in Bombay, mm. one episode is about uh, you know, Anushka Sharma's character, mm. one episode is about. Balraj and uh, his best friend and uh, Kaisad Khambata's kind of homoerotic undercurrent going yeah, on over yeah, there, yeah, which yeah. the film doesn't fully commit mm, to. Mm. Um, yeah, full for sure, for sure, one hundred percent. This because the the uh, Gyan Prakash's original story uh, yeah. is so is vast, right? Yeah. It's a story of the city, and a story of any city can't be confined in one film, right. uh, one episode. Fully dedicated to jazz bars, like the mm. Crown does, right? Mm. The mm. Crown. This season uh, aside, previous seasons are like one episode. They'll take one incident and then explore everybody's relationship with that incident. All the characters, some mm. are main characters, some are tertiary in that um, setup. Um, I, I would like to talk about this one scene that was just uninten. Not one scene, one subplot that was unintentionally funny. Yeah. At least I found it funny in a nice way, not in a bad way. That uh, um, Anushka, Anushka Sharma ka pata chalta hai ki iski koi to nangi photo yeah. unhone uh, uh, khichi hai. वो फोटोग्राफर ने एंड देन पूरा रणबीर कपूर इज गेटिंग मैड की फक इसकी फोटो है आई वांट दोस पिक्चर्स एंड ही इज नॉट मैड एट हर फॉर गेटिंग द पिक्चर क्लिक ही इज लाइक ही मेंटेन्स कि नहीं आई वांट द पिक्चर आई डोंट वांट टू डू या या and then when he finally looks at the picture he's like you think i would have a problem with this picture yeah. are you serious ye to nangi hai bhi nahi kya baat kar rahi hai tu that i found really funny what do you think like uh, do you think they had planned to do it this way or do you think the reveal was satisfying or uh, do you think they could have explored it more i mean it was scandalous in hmm. any case right hmm. and it shows what a woman a woman thinks of her modesty versus what a hmm. man thinks of her modesty versus what a man who's the son of a sex worker hmm. thinks about uh, female modesty um and that's the comment i think he's making there hmm. how much of the like so this is a film set in 1969 hmm. so uh, uh but when it comes to period films how much of the problem problematic stuff is a man of that time would think in such a way to oh we are pro- portraying a man of that time but in current year so he or she should be progressive at no point does the film endorse balraj right hmm. uh we are shown this man who will go to any extent to become a have from a have not yeah it is a commentary on our structures that just exist in mm. the society where mm. if you have to break away from one 
class level mm -hmm. and enter another mm -hmm. you have to do these weird things that's the commentary the film is making right but it's not endorsing mm -hmm. uh smuggling it's not mm -hmm. endorsing the murders mm -hmm. it's not endorsing the lies how do we know that because well raj dies in the end right. it's yeah. not a happy ending mm -hmm. for him he doesn't uh, become the owner of this property and live happily ever after with the love of his life everyone right. dies mm -hmm. um it's it's defeatist mm -hmm. in the sense that if you see these dreams and if you do these weird things to achieve these dreams it's not going to lead you anywhere mm -hmm. that's the comment it's making mm -hmm. so i'm absolutely fine with it okay so i like the point that you made about the movie not endorsing ranbir kapoor yeah. because uh, this is also what i noticed ki ranbir kapoor aisa amitabh bachchan is hero nahi hai ही इज़ नॉट लाइक ऐसे कि ऐसे ऐसे वो स्वैग में कहीं बैठा नहीं, नहीं, नहीं है अभी सेवियर नहीं है ना ही वो अब मैं इस एरिया का सेल्फिश है वो थ्रू हाँ पूरे मूवी में पार खम्बाटा के पास ही है ही इज़ नॉट तो शोन Uh, uplifting his whole yeah. basti, bachpan ki basti, <laughs> right. ab isko sab ko humne ghar de diya hai. Yeah. And all that. Like I think there is one or two scenes where you show that he is a little bit big-hearted towards. I don't, I can't recall properly, but um, he's selfish throughout the film. He's only looking out for himself. He mm. wants the woman. He wants to own the woman he loves, yeah. uh, which also is uh, not endorsed in the film. Mm. Uh, and his everything that he is. In fact, his best friend also at one point. is like a little bit bro this is going to get him yeah, killed yeah, 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 yeah. you have to stop yeah. and he yeah. doesn't stop and it does get him killed yeah so do you think maybe that's the reason why the movie didn't work at that time kyunki perhaps because you It's your hero was not a heroic yeah. enough yeah yeah there was no hero hero in the movie so uh, i also think it's a little too long it's hmm. a little too indulgent hmm. um i mean again having said that thalma shun marker was yeah this course is his editor तो मैं क्या ही बोलूं कि उन वो उन्होंने अच्छी एडिटिंग नहीं करी तो मैं नहीं बोल सकती बट आई थिंक द राइटिंग डज गेट अ लिटिल इंडल्जेंट बट इट्स जस्ट दर सो मच हार्ट इन दिस फिल्म दर इज सो मच हार्ट एंड लव एंड सोल एंड विजन दैट इज दैट आई कैन डिनाई या एब्सोल्युटली द क्राफ्ट इज वेरी गुड Yeah. the craft is very good the vfx are so good all the scenes that they've created for an old timey bombay mm. they they erected sets in sri lanka and then they superimposed them with the vfx mm. um incredible it's really yeah. really good we still hold up 7 years on yeah they do yeah. uh so my question um like you mentioned these qualities uh is it too was it too much of a film meant for cinephiles that only people who love films and these minor aspects of film will appreciate it but it's a little too little too much to expect the average film goer to appreciate this kind I of I guess thing. because we were just looking at the films that released in 2015 and the yeah. films that did well in 2015 were what dam laga ke hai sha uh, dil dhadakne do dil dhadakne do did, did dil dhadakne do do well yeah it did yeah. Well. Okay. piku bajrangi huh. bhaijaan hmm. Um, Badlapur. I don't know if it did well or not. I think it did well. Mm. Badlapur. Did These are well. all very approachable films. Right. Mm. Tamasha did not do well because mm. again, it was a more kind of cinematic. And now it won't stop doing well. <laughs> now people can't stop yeah. talking about it. But the films that did well that year were more like simple films where you could mm. enter easily. Uh, perhaps Bombay Velvet is a little. Um, I'm not going to say hostile that is too harsh a word but it has unapproachable a little mm. bit back in the day but mm. then like I said if it releases now I think it would do better because I think people have watched more international cinema people are more well versed with um the language of cinema I think mm -hmm. uh and there's a whole new you know generation of uh, movie goers now uh I guess yeah, yeah. and mm. i think it did well around festivals where 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 it went to that i'm not uh, aware of yeah i think locarno film festival it got a standing ovation but then i feel film festivals often give standing ovations to whatever film is playing i mean I, don't know. Yeah. i really like kk menon in the inspector role i think uh, this is kashab reuniting with kk menon since uh, black friday hmm. uh, i think he was and uh, there's also uh, vicky kaushal vicky kaushal can we know what yeah. basil yes. guys basil <laughs> vicky kaushal as basil love that, it is that his name yeah in the film basil mm -hmm. okay उसको पिज्जा पर डाल के खाते एनी डे गर्ल एनी डे आई डोंट रियली वर्ड 
same year as Masan, he doesn't have many lines in the film, but I think he still makes an impact hmm. as the as the Holmes to yeah. K.K. Menon's Sherlock. Yeah, while I was looking at those scenes, I was like, "Yeah, I'm big, okay, na, big man, big man." Vicky was just out of focus in most of the film. <laughs> yeah. so you can't even see him. Yeah, He's Iman just... Shah had a better screen presence. Iman Shah, his brother. Yeah, Vivan Shah. Vivan Shah, keep yeah. not Iman yeah. Shah. Yeah. Vivan, Vivan Shah, keep. But I, that was a completely unnecessary character because that character has no arc. <laughs> it has no starting, no middle, no end. That character, Tony, right? I think his name is. Yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah. sure. That could have completely. It, this, these are the kind of indulgent things that I'm talking about. I don't mm. think that character has any purpose in the film. Mm. Uh, that the subplot that he gets could easily have been. in my opinion handed to a different character hmm. maybe he could have been the one jo rosie ko bachata but then the story ab- alag ho jati hmm. but vicky yeah. is like fully out of focus wo hang nahi hai he's hmm. like yeah. but uh, even then he has great screen presence yeah, yeah. beza yeah. did you buy anushka sharma as rosie rosie extremely as, as the jazz singer very much yeah very much so i thought mm-hmm. she was amazing i thought it was a, such a great performance she really like she's crying and especially like the that dhadam dhadam song yeah, yeah. um i think there's like an edith piaf song cuz i know this because i was watching crown yesterday and there was an edith piaf song that is padam padam and oh. it sounds very similar and if you play the song simultaneously it sounds like uh, um neeti mohan is doing edith piaf oh hindi okay. edith piaf okay. and i think that was the inspiration and it chamkod to me yesterday while well, that song featured in the crown i'm not quite sure but that's my so this edith Bing. piaf song is the one where if you slow it down uh slow it down to a very like uh, uh, kya kehte hain usko point 0.25 speed pe hmm. it makes for that inception ka bam bam wo jo is it that ha, one because in inception is the edith piaf song which they used to wake you yeah, up yeah but it's not padam padam okay maybe that's then. not uh, inception song is not that okay. uh, it's it's a different song maybe. okay maybe then. i will google but but that sound effect is very much <laughs> the inception ka bam 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 Yeah, so that I can't pronounce the name of the song. It's non gene regrettian. Fresh, fresh. Non gene regrettian. <laughs> That's the Inception song. It's a different one. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you have a very nice voice. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, what was up with the cage fighting? Why do you think that was a thing that uh, Balraj still had to do, even though he was climbing the. Uh, hierarchy because of. that's the person he is. He's angry. He has so much anger in him. He needs an outlet. He needs to punch shit mm-hmm. to make it happen, and that becomes his undoing. His anger does become his undoing in mm-hmm. the end of the film. He cannot let go of the anger. Uh, you, you can get all the riches. You can get the woman you love. You can get whatever you need. But if you don't uh, get let go of your uh, anger, mm-hmm. it'll destroy you. It'll eat right. you up on the inside. And the cage fighting is just that. He's mm-hmm. angry. He has to punch the shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like how there was this one scene between him, him and Anushka, just me, both दूसरों को मार रहे हैं. And like, even though it looks like कि अच्छा frivolous है, but थोड़ा भाई बहन की तरह लगे मुझे वो वाले सीन में. Ranbir and Anushka. Yeah. So funny. That is so funny. Especially जब भी वो उसको कुर्सी से मारती है, so like she smiles a little and I'm like, ये भाई बहन है. Yeah. ये भाई बहन है. Please, you can't convince me. It's a very toxic, twisted relationship, and the film is not making any qualms about it. Yeah. ये बहुत ही toxic है. ये दोनों एक दूसरे को लेकर मरेंगे एंड इवेंचुअली दैट्स व्हाट हैपेंस आई लव द क्लाइमैक्टिक फाइट बिटवीन करण जौहर एंड रणवीर कपूर कैरेक्टर्स कैजाद एंड बलराज बिकॉज लाइक थ्रू आउट द फिल्म यू कैन सेंस दैट Uh, the, it doesn't say uh, Kazad's a homosexual, but that's the undercurrent, yeah, yeah. Mm. right? And it's never actually said out loud. I think in as many words, but he probably is giving Balraj the support and the love because he's attracted to Balraj, mm. and he wants he wants to do things to him. And in the climax sequence, when they actually fight, it's almost like they are having really violent sex. Mm. Uh that's what it felt like and I th- yeah, I yeah. thought that was really nicely done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I I I agree with your point ki there was this undercurrent ki ye thoda hai yeah, kyunki yeah. because if, if see if he was like genuinely like a uh, uh, agar wo nahi hota agar wo straight hota to I don't know maybe they would have shown this is just like me being uh, me overthinking ki maybe mm-hmm. they would have shown his wife sitting on his lap or something kuch to chemistry dikhate wo time ke because wo time mein chemistry matlab hi nahi na I love you it is like oh you sit on my lap mm. something like that समथिंग hmm. वैसा कुछ बट वैसा कुछ नहीं उसकी वाइफ आप उसकी असिस्टेंट की जैसे बैठी है शी इज लाइक बट शी ऑल्सो इज नॉट लाइक कि ही इज मेकिंग मी डू दिस शी इज लाइक आई वॉन्ट डू दिस एंड मैं तू अगर नहीं मारेगा तो मैं इसको कल डेफिनेटली मार दूंगी अपने बेनिफिट के लिए उस शी हैज दैट लुक ऑन अ फेस 
But, and, uh, and the wife character is the one who he chooses to pass out the uh, other bureaucrats, yes, right? Yes, yes. So yeah. I, I think it's a unsaid thing that this is a woman who they're both benefiting uh, from. Uh, they're both benefiting, and there is she a yeah. contractual the basis. Pay. Yeah. There is something where mm. I'll do your uh, mm. dirty work, and you. I think Bombay Velvet well. eventually was just a supernova that collapsed under its own weight. Mm-hmm. Mm. It was. They just set it up to be this blockbuster of blockbusters, right? Um, and uh you know they were doing big media parties journalists were being flown to sri lanka for set visits mm. there was parties in goa and there's videos of like ranbir kapoor dancing with all the journalists and mm. like entertaining everyone mm. and then mm. interviews and publicity and like special uh, coffee with karan episodes which though everybody does now right. but mm. um it just became i think too big for its own good mm-hmm. instead of be- being about the film it became about what the film is representing yeah. correct and that i think kind of upset people mm. a little bit more mm. right so um this is something that i wanted to ask you both um idea level pe if like i don't know if you can think uh कैसे इसने अनुराग कश्यप ने सोची होगी लाइक आइडिया बिकॉज आइडिया लेवल पे व्हेन यू वॉच द मूवी इट साउंड एक्साइटिंग बट देन व्हेन यू वॉच द एग्जीक्यूशन यू आर लाइक हाँ ठीक है मतलब अनुराग वाज मेकिंग अ होल किंगडम ऑफ विच ही वाज किंग he erected these massive sets in sri lanka mm. where there's mm. one club one ha- home lanes shops um basti basti all of that and he's the king of this land and this is anurag kashyap coming off of i think gangs of asapur high and like everyone he's launched nawazuddin siddiqui in a ma- ma- major way he's mm. given you richa chadda and huma qureshi and everyone just like cannot stop talking about and here's this guy who has the audacity to make two films back to back which is the same story continuation mm. no one's done it before so there's a lot of trust in his craft he's endorsed by martin scorsese suddenly he's got scorsese's editor working for him um and then there's like this whole ecosystem of up and coming fresh talent amit trivedi is doing the music yeah. guys amita bhattacharya is writing the songs guys um you know ranbir kapoor is like crushing it at that time and mm. anushka sharma is like killing it and karan johar like what karan johar is going to be acting and stuff so it i don't see why anybody would not trust anurag kashyap to make mm. that film and to uh see the film to its final conclusion so it was the name then and not the actual idea name not just the name but like also the talent that was associated with the name mm. everything that came with it and also the idea is great also mm. so yeah, it's, it's yeah. both the things the story is fantastic and you know uh, to create a historical a period film is a difficult task it's a challenge that any good actor would want to take up it's mm. not an opportunity anybody would say no to you can't say no to kashyap and you can't say no to uh, i'm top of 2015 and you can't say no to a story that is going to be vast telling the history of mumbai why would anybody say no to that mm. um if you present them with this hmm. you know and there's yeah. so, so much money that's going into its production as well so the biggest stars know that it's going to be a big detailed production they're not going to cheap out on the production which hmm. is a big thing uh kashyap made uh, raman raghav after this mukkabaz manmarziyan choked and dobara uh, all films that i like dobara i haven't seen but dobara uh, was amazing yeah wow <laughs> that's a very rousing I endorsement i loved it yeah <laughs> uh so favorite performance in bombay velvet uh, of, of all the performers ranbir yeah, yeah 100% okay coming out uh, with the tommy guns <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like scarface amazing yeah. again that's kasha paying homage yeah. to yeah. everything he loves yeah urjit afi ranbir kapoor yeah he was i mean dusre characters mein ranbir kapoor acha compared to the other characters okay. but yeah Maybe I need to see the film a third time because <laughs> I don't know why I feel like uh, everybody was miscast. Uh, I really loved, like I mentioned, K K Menon in the film. Uh, there was something like I want to feel. I want to see that film. I want to see K K Menon go solve cases in 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 the sixties uh, mm. and 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 do that. Yeah, K K Menon. He looks very menacing for some reason. Like I feel like K K Menon. If I say to him, "You have phoned me or not?" He will say, "Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, please, please take me to the prison. He doesn't want to interview me. He looks very. I feel like." Uh, All the characters and everything. Yeah. Uh, I feel like maybe थोड़ा चेज अगर दिखाते उसमें और रणबीर में that would have made for an interesting plot too. Hmm. Because रणबीर is this he is innocent throughout the film. He has this charm of this charm of a ten year old. He's But like he's he, also killing people. But 
hey that's also charming <laughs> what <laughs> okay I mean, in that universe no i'm saying ki uh, uh, I'm, i'm not all serial killers need to be mature there is a reason why they are killing because wo un, unme utna maturity okay. nahi hai sochne ka ki ye sahi hai ki galat mm. okay, so i feel that. like the he still has the innocence of this tenny i'm not endorsing his character yeah. in any way I but i'm the saying the fact that this is a story of a boy who did not have a childhood yeah mm. he grew up that's the movie makes a big point of the fact that he didn't have a childhood yeah. he was forced into doing work and he was then hustling to make money and his mother was mm. not paying attention and he didn't have a father father abandoned him and things like that so finally when he yeah. has the money and the power then he reverts back to that era of his life mm. which he didn't really get to live so like a child he's like abhi i want this also and that also and i have five things but i want six exactly and also if you think about it this guy is not educated so the right. only way he could make so much money is by doing these illegal things like this hmm. this also reminded, reminded me of that scene in yuva abhishek uh, bachchan wala jo scene tha na jisme usko wo paper factory mein printing factory mein leke aaye hmm. printing press mein and dikha raha hai and then he's like ki main ye kaam karunga hmm. so that is like the other side ki agar acha illegal kaam nahi to aur kaise paise banayega ye ye itna rakhwali karne ke liye 2000 dega paga leke aaya so i feel like that is the uh, um, the op- other option and of course nobody would agar honest i'm not can we can we cut the camera wala se this main uski jagah thi main bhi yahi karti <laughs> okay <laughs> i mean they heard you for the rest of the episode uh, you were dialogues also written by anurag kashyap by the way yeah, so, yeah. Yes, yes um do you think uh, uh, so i kept thinking of other f- uh, films that have shown the bombay of the f- 50s and 60s and i could think of guru uh, in recent mm. times um do you think a failure of a film like this further sort of makes filmmakers not take a risk because a to show a period film you have to have massive budgets and then uh, so much has changed since then that 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 filmmakers will be discouraged to even you know as it is we don't make period films of that particular era, era i don't know much. i think it's like momentary like uh, in 2016 people will not give you money to make a period film right. but maybe in 2017 they will again right. you know if you if you convince them well enough Okay. So it's momentary. अब हम लोग भावनाओं में बह जाते हैं और भंसाली की एक फिल्म हिट गई तो भाई तू भी बना पदमावत टू तो अगर एक और फिल्म बनाओगे जो चल जाएगी फिर सब हाँ बोल देंगे मोमेंटेरी है हम बड़े फिकल लोग हैं मे बी इन पैरल यूनिवर्स देर इज अप मैशअप इज द रॉन्ग वर्ड फॉर दिस बट गंगू बाई और रणबीर कपूर गंगू बाई या की गंगू बाई का बेटा ये सब गुंडागिरी करा है चीज लाइक Fifties into sixties or sixties into seventies. No, sixty-nine is the prominent year where most events happen. So I think then then. then New Year Eve is happening when 70s. that Christmas Eve, uh, Correct, where yeah. the Santa uh, costume and runs yeah, away, yeah, and yeah. you see mm. Vasan Bala. Yeah. yeah. standing as a security guard or like vasan bala yeah. is the who you recently interviewed on your youtube channel he's so great check that yeah. out so uh, <laughs> he was also the second unit director on this movie yeah. yeah couple of last things so any any favorite scene that sticks out to you in the in the movie uh, apart from the one you mentioned where uh, um, karan goes and laughs Yeah, I really like that scene. I like uh, Rosie and Balraj's fight scene. It's a mm. long take where they run after each other and they uh, fight because that scene is saying a lot. Uh what else? Nothing that I can think of mm. right now, frankly speaking, because all of it looks like one right, continuous one, one continuous yeah. scene. Mm. Yeah. Majita for you? The India wala scene. वो बोलता है नेत्र को पता है बॉम्बे के बाहर क्या है इंडिया. That was right. of my that was my line mm. from yeah. that. Very very amazing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you you the I'm great guessing the end credit. <laughs> the end no, credit. No, no. I'm not. I mean. Look, it didn't work for me, but I'm not saying it's a bad film or I was mm. bored. Like I said, it it looks great. Ah, uh, that's an interesting thing for me. Uh, I guess the the part where uh, where uh, Balraj is watching the James Cagney film in the beginning. Ah, uh, you you can literally see. that this is what he aspires huh. to be as large as the, the screen mm. and also the film is foreshadowing what will eventually happen to balraj mm. so and and it's a, i thought i thought it was a very interesting thing ke 
उस उस वक्त के लोग भी मस्ट भी उनके लिए इंग्लिश फिल्म देखना और बड़ी बात होती होगी बिकॉज बैक देन हॉलीवुड फिल्म एज रेडिली अवेलेबल सो द एस्पिरेशन टू बी लाइक दीज कैरेक्टर्स वॉज ऑल्सो अ डिलीटेड सीन फ्रॉम रंग दे बसंती जिसमें सारे एक अपने हिस्टोरिकल अपने हिस्टोरिकल कैरेक्टर्स वो सब हॉलीवुड मूवीज देख रहे हैं कूल सो सुचारिता ऑन अ रिवॉचेबिलिटी स्केल ऑफ वन टू टेन वन बींग it's a product of its time not that it's a very old film but uh, one being that uh, it's completely not aged well and you would never watch it again and 10 being oh my god it gets better with every uh, viewing where would you what would you rate bombay well 8.5 mm, yeah it's pretty high yeah nice. very generous <laughs> but it's true that's how i actually truly genuinely feel and i'm not one to mince my words right mm. uh urjita yeah. i think uh, 6.5 oh yeah i expected higher considering you said such good things about the film टेक्निकल ये तो तू अभी बोल रहा है क्योंकि अभी पिछले चालीस मिनट से वीव बिन काइंड ऑफ बीटिंग यू ओवर दैड विद हाउ गुड दिल्म ऐसे मूड तो बना के आया था सुबह मैंने जीरो जीरो पिक्चर है ये कैंसिल करो ये क्यों एग्जिस्ट करती है मूवी बस वाज दिस क्लोज टू सेइंग कि ऑन द स्केल ऑफ फाइव आई वुड रेट इट टू रीजंस टू वॉच दिस मूवी सुचारिता और जिता ये लोगों ने बहुत सर पे चढ़ा के रखा है तो सॉरी इफ यू सी मी ब्लिंकिंग सेंड हेल्प नो आई विल आई विल वॉच इट अ थर्ड टाइम आई 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 गिव यू माय वर्ड ऑन दिस I give it a five. I think the technical aspects. Mat dekh third time yaar. I don't think either of us care that much. Mat dekh bro. The technical aspects all work. I just think it's miscast. I don't know. But that's just me. देखो कौन चाहिए था रणवीर कपूर के रोल में? करें क्या सीन चल चल रहे तेरा कास्टिंग के? You know what I kept thinking would. Uh, पंकज त्रिपाठी चाहिए था ना? Would Kunal Khemu work in a in a role like this? Oh, he would. Yeah. yeah. Kunal was an excellent actor. Yeah. Bloody Blood Diamond. What was that movie's name? Blood right. Diamond. That was Leonardo DiCaprio. No, no. वो थोड़ा ज़्यादा हो जाएगा। इतना भी अंग्रेज़ नहीं दिखता नहीं। इसकी भी थी Blood Diamond। Yeah, I have seen that movie. Oh, and in that movie, the villain was the same guy, Jimmy, Jimmy from this movie. Yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about. अरे, yeah, you know, I thought that was an actual Scorsese film, is it not? No, no, it's not a Scorsese film. I'm thinking Gangs of New York. Oh, Gangs of New York. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and I want to know now, is Blood Diamond really a Kunal Khemu film? Because then I will watch. Blood it. money, sorry, not blood. Oh, <laughs> blood <laughs> what year did it come out? Two thousand and twelve. Good movie. Yeah, I liked it then. Okay. So, Kunal was a very good actor. Yeah, so I feel hmm. like uh, when you said that Kunal Kimu would have done uh, uh, yeah. nicely, so I think yeah, this movie was his same character. Hmm. Tha. You know, from poverty, he comes, and then he gets a chance to do wrong things. Maybe he's a very good actor. So, if you give him a good chance to do a good film, I think his performance always looks good. Yeah, films don't look good, but his performance always looks good. He was great in Loot Case. Yeah, he was. He was, he was really fantastic. Good. Loot yeah. Case just just missed the mark. Just missed the mark. It could have been such a good film if it had committed to being a good film. Yeah, mm-hmm. just missed the mark. Who else did you want to see in this film except? Oh, I'm just thinking. So, uh, where was Deepika in 2015? Uh, would, would would she have Tamasha worked era. as the as the jazz singer? Uh yes. Yeah. Yes. I think it would have been a hotter story if Deepika Ranbir ka role play karte aur Anushka Anushka ka. It's Deepika just... Ranbir. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, the man just release hi nahi hoti. Imagine <laughs> imagine that fight sequence between them. Koi nahi paise dete usko release karne ke. No, Deepika also would have been could have done a good job. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. But and I for... don't see why Anushka did not do a good job. What could she have done that Anushka didn't do? Okay, I I I just thought she didn't Seems sultry enough. अच्छा. <laughs> okay. Am I just digging a deeper hole? She 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 re- failed to appeal to Abbas's testosterone. Yeah. Guys. No, Baba. <laughs> Actually, Anushka now that is a I... very beautiful looking woman. I just think. Ravina Tandon you know, could have. Yeah, maybe. but uh, you know, not in 2015. If Ran, no, why not? They needed a younger girl. Right? Yeah. The ha, part but, was for a younger female. हाँ, but I feel like even Ravina could have done a nice cool. job. Cool. I agree. I'm, I'm I not. I think older older women would still be chalta tha. She okay. could have, in fact, more years of operation. But then, then, then they would have to change the story. Story's vibe yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Story's yeah. puri vibe. The, the story is about a younger hmm. generation trying to hmm. make their way into uh, a, a, a space where they have been denied. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. They're both coming yeah. from that where their parents have not looked out for them. Hmm. Hmm. So. Comments में लिख दो guys क्या recast करते हैं अगर आप तो किसके साथ करते हैं? करण जोगी जगह किसको डालते हैं? अनुराग कश्यप को. 
would have wanted another uh, akashap to play that role i can't think of anyone else who could have done that part better than karan johar pankaj tiwari can do anything but pankaj tiwari is too rustic for that no he's a very good actor he yeah, he's a great he actor he would have pulled it off डॉग No, okay. हमारा हाफ हाफ अलग अलग विकी कौशल चलेगा बस थैंक यू सुचारिता फॉर टेकिंग टाइम आउट एंड बीइंग ऑन द शो एनीथिंग यू वांट टू प्लग बिफोर वी रैप अप या subscribe to my channel on youtube that's where i'm doing all my work now all my reviews all my interviews all, all everything conversation around cinema is on my channel it's very difficult to run it guys <laughs> it's like killing me slowly um it's in my bones it's killing me but subscribe thanks yes please i i am a regular consumer of the of same. the channel same, and same. i would also same. recommend you follow it uh last question before you go what's the last thing you saw which you were blown away by and you would like to recommend to our uh, listeners blown away by was the was my rewatch of avatar when it released oh, really? in IMAX last month right because the second part is releasing on yeah, in december, in december yes. mm-hmm. so main to puri bhul chuki thi picture to ye dekhi nahi jab se release hui to main IMAX mein dekhi ja ke cinema day jab tha na india mein to IMAX pe 150 rupaye ki ticket thi 75 rupaye ki nahi thi wo IMAX wali thi 300 rupaye ki okay par main dekh kar subah subah ka 11 baje ka show blown away yeah that film holds up and how the vfx and everything but now it's out of theaters It is. Yeah. It's gone. She, Sucks to be you. Yeah. Nahin, wait for the sequel. IMAX 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 is IMAX, yeah. 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 But sequel, dekho, December mein aur uske liye, please IMAX mein prepare lo first part I I I I I was wasn't blown away away by Wakanda Forever, but I enjoyed it very, 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 yeah, very, 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 the highest grossing film of all time it's really that bizarre. nobody dresses uh, yeah. up on halloween of As any, any of the navis there's no big line yeah. from the movie it's really bizarre but the thing is that the film was no it came before the avengers era right and it wasn't in service of the characters the right. film was in service only of the commentary that james cameron's making about the climate and about greed mm. and capitalism mm. and uh, the craft he's used to make this point in this story that's why it it wasn't about the actors you, there's no one who's become a robert downey junior from right. yeah. uh, avatar right yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was it, it wasn't so much about the characters mm. in this film mm. uh, all in the characters are almost uh, like the bad guys almost a caricature of a Correct. character yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. like hum yahan par drilling karenge iska ped ukhadenge aur inke ghar se hum अनऑब्टेनियम चुराएंगे नाम भी क्या है अनऑब्टेनियम इससे ज्यादा जिसको ऑब्टेन नहीं किया जा सकता right. <laughs> इससे ज्यादा स्टार्क कमेंट्री हो सकती है कि राइटिंग में कि डायरेक्टर कह रहे हैं ये तुम्हें नहीं करना है ऑब्टेन <laughs> बाहर चले जाओ <laughs> I, um, I think in yeah. India nobody like really uh, uses the avatar characters as uh, uh, Halloween uh, ke right. costumes because uh, Govinda ne comment kiya tha ki neela paint lagana padega <laughs> I think Did that's the reason why he gave the yes. title to James Cameron Yes yes in that interview yeah. Rajat Sharma ka I've seen that interview <laughs> usne pura okay. bola hai wo What a love Govinda got a love yeah. him yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. full conviction ke sath bola tha he without batting an eyelid and I mean of course Main diya main diya मेरे को सब पता है एनी वे थैंक यू सो मच सुचारिता फॉर बीइंग ऑन द शो थैंक यू उर्जिता फॉर बीइंग ऑन द शो दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द एंड ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर एपिसोड इफ यू वाचिंग दिस ऑन यूट्यूब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट द न्यूएस्ट एपिसोड्स इन योर नोटिफिकेशन इफ यू लिसनिंग टू दिस एज एन ऑडियो पॉडकास्ट प्लीज डू रेट अस लीव अस रिव्यू एंड शेयर दिस एपिसोड विद एनी वन यू थिंक विल एंजॉय दिस यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन सोशल मीडिया माई ट्विटर हैंडल इज एट अबास मोमिन एंड अबास मोमिन एट एट ऑन इंस्टाग्राम उर्जिता Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at the rate Urjita Vani and on Twitter at the rate Vani Urjita. Cool. You. With that, it's a wrap. We'll see you all next week. Till then, bye-bye. bye bye. Bye.